everyone listens to music, from toddlers to the senior citizens of society. And it has always fascinated me, the sheer variety of music that's out there. So one day I got curious and I asked myself, why is it that I love rock and roll and my best friend loves hip hop? And the information that I found left me quite astonished. My name is Jitam Janayak and today I'm going to share some of that information with you. To know what affects our taste in music, we first need to understand how music affects our mind. One of the first things that happens when music enters the brain is the triggering of pleasure centers which release dopamine. If you don't know what dopamine is, it's a neurotransmitter that makes you feel happy. This response is so quick, in fact, the brain can even anticipate the most pleasurable peaks in familiar music and prime itself with an early dopamine rush. Beyond simply making you feel good, however, there's evidence that music can even be good for your health. Research has shown that listening to music is associated with upticks in immunity-boosting antibodies and cells that protect against bacteria and other invaders. Music is also proven to be a form of therapy across a variety of different treatment scenarios for conditions ranging from premature births to depression to Parkinson's disease. Even in terms of brain development, music can play a key role. Training to play an instrument, for instance, is believed to increase gray matter volume in certain areas of the brain. As a result, musicians often experience improvement in brain functions like auditory processing, learning, and memory. In layman's language, music is really, really good for your mind. It can make you smarter. Can you believe that listening to your favorite song and becoming smarter at the same time? It seems awesome to me. But I wasn't done there. I did some more digging and I found a very surprising fact. Did you know that plants grow faster when exposed to music? Yes, you heard that right, even plants love music. Research has shown that any good sound has the ability to stimulate plant growth. In one study, plants that were exposed to sounds for 6 hours a day showed more growth than plants in a soundless control group. However, that same research showed that while music helped plants grow, it wasn't more effective than non-musical sounds. In other words, plants don't distinguish between music and other sounds. However, music does help plants grow in theory. Okay, now let's come back to the question that I asked at the beginning of this talk. What affects our taste in music? The two biggest factors affecting our taste in genre are personality and the environment we grow up in. The kind of music we listen to reflects our personality. For example, an extroverted yet emotionally unstable person, such as myself, is most likely to be into upbeat funk or metal tunes whereas a quieter introvert might enjoy slower, deeper songs. The environment we grow up in also affects what we listen to. The music heard by people around us and the situations we find ourselves in influence what we listen to in ways we don't realize. And this is simply because we enjoy and connect with music we find relatable. The different vibrations from different songs are better suited to the minds of different people. The lyrics to which the song is sung to is what makes them so special to us. So the songs you love listening to are more a reflection of your thoughts than the way your brain is wired. Now that we have all this information, how can we utilize it? From personal experience, I can tell you that writing down things that you are feeling in poetic words doesn't only help your mental state, but it is also a highly rewarding experience. Schools can implement songwriting to help students deal with their mental and emotional stresses. As I've discussed before, music is also quite therapeutic and it can be used to treat several different conditions. Playing music at homes and workplaces can help grow plants quicker, which improves the ambience and boosts morale. Sounds kind of crazy, but <laughs> it works. Listening to new and different kinds of songs will also help us develop our personality. These are just a few of the endless possibilities. Music is such a beautiful thing, right? It brings people together. It's the heart of any party or function. It brings a feeling of devotion when we pray and it brings a feeling of patriotism in national events. What music we listen to is one of the first questions we are asked by our friends and peers. And it's most probably the first question we ask others as well. And this is simply because we get to know so much about a person by the music they like. Songs are a symbol of love, 
patriotism, honesty, peace, and so many other things. Music is on the very sparse list of things that is right with this world. And we must use it to spread love, peace, and joy. Because the world could really use some of that right now. Uh, if you have listened to me so far, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And I hope you have a nice day.